Hauling, towing, or even pushing, it's not a question of when you're gonna need one, but what kind are you gonna own? Here at Hemmings, we've always known one universal truth about owning classic cars. You can't live this life without a great truck. And while we've got some of the coolest trucks in the history of trucks here, we've got one in the back that really needs some love. So we're gonna pull it out, dust it off, and finally get to work on it. <laughs> Welcome to Square Body Rehab. So Junior, this thing looks pretty good, but I don't know, tell me more about this one in particular. Well, we acquired this locally, uh, started working on it, but there's so much going on here in the shop, it just kind of got shoved to the back of the line. Mm. And now we're gonna bring it forward and we're gonna get this thing back on the road because God. it's kind of been sitting too long. And as you know, these are meant to be driven, not sitting looking pretty. That's a good point. I mean, what's under the hood? It's got a 5.7. It was a TBI, throttle body injected. It's kind of that in between, between carbureted and fuel injection. It's really not supported in the aftermarket anymore. So there's not much you can do with it. So we acquired a Holley Sniper 2 system that is installed, but it never got fired. So today, we get to fire it. Let's get it running. Oh, that sounds yeah. good. Now, once yeah. we actually fire this thing, what else do you have planned for it? I mean, I know that sniper unit kind of allows you to do some other things with the small block that's in it, right? Yes, yes. So if we ever decide to go inside the block and beef it up or do anything high power or fancy, the sniper will support it, whereas the TBI will not. But also have dual exhaust that we're gonna put on this. I also know those tires look old, and those are the original 15-inch wheels, right? They are the original 15-inch rallies, and these tires are over 10 years old. So we have a new set of tires, little stagger, a little bigger in the rear. Good. We do have some drop spindles, some drop coils, and drop brackets for the rear, so we can try and fill up this fender well a little bit. That'll be a good-looking, well-running truck, right? Yep. Oh, and we also have a traction aid to put in the rear, too. So oh, no nice. more one-legged burnouts. Nice. We can... Are we going full locker, where you have to turn like the corners like no, this? No, no. We're actually going with an Eaton True Track. Nice. So okay. that'll give us typical on-the-road driving manners, but anytime you want to light them up, they'll both... Squealability. Yes. Got it. And yep. that's going to, with the combination that you've got now, uh, it's set up. And if we want to do anything in the future with the engine and we can. add more performance to it, we yep. can do that. And you're basically setting the stage for all of that, right? Yes. Yep. Right. Good. Good. Well, let's get to work. All right. Let's get the hood off of this thing. Basically, I need to top off the coolant. Did a little bit of wiring stuff here and just got some stuff squared away. I need to go through the setup wizard, set my fuel pressure, and then we're ready for a test fire. Junior's got all the fluids topped off. We've got all the bolts tightened down and we're basically ready to fire this thing. But that Holly unit still isn't completed yet. Junior's gonna use the setup wizard to finish the installation and then we'll get ready to fire. I'm just going to go through and basically tell the ECU exactly what we've got going on here. And Holly makes it real easy. They've got a nice step-by-step. -step. And we'll go right through just as they have it listed out here. Sniper Wizard. Sniper 2. Next. Cylinders 8. Engine Displacement. Boy, I'd love to go to that number. Can type stock, hyper spark. There we go, key on. I see fuel. Wait for it. Ready? And then we jump. Woo! Sounds great. 
Now that we got the thing started, Junior's got it running, it's tuned, but we still have to deal with the exhaust. Now, we just got a set of beautiful headers from Donna over at Sanderson, and I will tell you, I would have brought them with me on the airplane, but TSA wouldn't let me get them through. So we shipped them straight here to Junior. He's already got those installed, but now we got to run the exhaust from the headers to the back of the truck. So that's up next. Going up. While the truck is in the air, we can get a good look at the space we have available to customize the pipes from the header flanges and dig into the dual exhaust kit we just got from Summit Racing. Look, you don't have to break the bank to run a fresh new dual exhaust. And a truck project like this just wants a clean setup that can accommodate anything we do to the motor in the future and sound great doing it. Imagine pulling into the high school football stadium parking lot with your faculty sticker on the bumper of this thing and your history class students hear you coming long before they see you. That's the goal here. Nothing we hate more than seeing the twin mufflers hang down below the transmission on these trucks and this Summit kit fit like a glove. While we're doing everything else to this truck, we didn't want to forget about the radiator and cooling this thing. Now, US Radiator put together a three core brass unit for us that replaces the stock two core. What that allows us to do is accommodate for any kind of power adders or modifications we want to make to the drivetrain. So, it keeps it stock looking. It is allowing us to do a couple more tweaks to the motor if we want to and keep this thing cool. And it also comes with a built-in transmission cooler, which didn't come stock on some of the aluminum units you can find. So if you're interested in things like this, check out US Radiator. They're good for creating something special for your needs. And it's exactly what we got with this thing. Hey Junior, I see that big old box from Summit just showed up. Is that what was in it? Yes, we got our nice exhaust. Actually, really impressed with the mandrel bending. That's a smooth turn. Yeah, those have good curves yeah. to them. Yeah. Good curves. So where are you going to put them? So we can do the stock out the back behind the tire, okay. blah, 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 boring. Or we could do some side dumps. Wait, we could do that? We could do a side dump? Yes. Is it legal? Can we do that here in Vermont? In Vermont, it's legal because it's behind the passenger compartment. Ah, so as long as it's behind the box, then we're okay. Yep. That would look really cool. Let's do that. Maybe a little brappy. Yeah, yeah, right. Now I like the truck a lot better. Done. Once we decided to dump the pipes right before the rear wheel wells, Junior had to map their route from the mufflers to the rear of the truck. This Silverado came from the factory with a heat shield tacked onto the undercarriage for the stock single tube exhaust. But since we not only rendered them useless with our custom tailpipes, they were now in the way of our new tubing. So, Junior had to cut out all of that stuff before we could really get started. Once that old stock tin was gone, we were cleared for the fun part. The pipes in the Summit kit are impressive. Smooth mandrel bends work well and look great. The perfect custom touch for our otherwise stock looking square body. That's perfect. We've got the Holly Sniper 2 EFI installed done. Junior's wrapping up the exhaust, which looks great by the way. Next, we've got to move to the back of the truck, bolt the bed down, and then we've got some custom touches for the bed too. So, hit like, Subscribe and leave a comment. Let us know what you think of our square body rehab.